only pay attention on men rugby. That's the reason why I've chosen to focus on women rugby. For that, I follow the player from the Irish national team. This player, the number nine, Tanya Rosser. Okay, I've, I've started rugby back when I was five years old back in New Zealand. Uh, we started at a very young age of all our sports. So I was one of the lucky ones. The women over here in Ireland, however, they tend to start rugby at a later age, about 17, 18, or even into their 20s. Now my family and that fully support what I do. When I first started playing rugby, my mum found it really difficult to come and watch, and I'd often have to jump out the window to go and watch it if she wouldn't let me. When I first came to Ireland, it was like, women should be playing rugby. Women aren't built for rugby. Women, this isn't a women's sport. But now they're coming around and are a lot more supportive. And if I'm in the gym and they ask me, oh, what are you training for? And I turn around and say rugby, they're like, oh, you don't look like a rugby player. In Ireland, there, we've got a few teams, but not a lot of women's teams. In New Zealand, you'd have many, many women's teams. You have positions for the fast people, and then you have positions for the slow people, or, or the little petite people, girls that are out on the wing, maybe. But yeah, anyone can play rugby. Rugby's not a man's game, it's anyone's game. Don't believe that women's rugby are big and butch. I love my makeup, I love wearing dresses, I love getting my hair done, and I you know I love all the girly things as well. I've been in the Irish national team again for seven seasons. I train um, up to 12 times a week. We could spend nearly 14 hours of training. And for the um, national team, obviously the men get paid. Um, and they have full-time training. For us ladies, we have to work a full-time job as well as train full-time. We get up at 5.30 or 6 o'clock to go to train or we're doing it in the evenings like 7, 8 o'clock at night. I work as a school teacher in an in international school of Dublin and I've been teaching for 10 years. Some of us are teachers, we've got doctors. So some of the girls can be working up to 60 hour weeks, 80 hour weeks before, and then come into a camp and then have to play an international match on Friday. Uh, well, I think rugby is a sport like any other and for 80 minutes it has to be tough and it's rough and there's a lot of contact, but outside that we're still girlies. So I suppose we're still pat our hair for the game to look really all girlish and whatnot. <laughs> we need the media to pay more attention to them. It seems like we don't exist and if we got more coverage on the media and TV, on the radio and the paper, then people would become aware of the sport. Yeah. Mm -hmm.